on January 6, the Japanese whaling ship Shonan Maru No. 2 was involved in a collision with the Sea Shepherd-sponsored vessel, the Addy Gill. The collision ended up shearing off the front two meters of the estimated $1.5 million vessel's hull. If the space-age hull of the Addy Gill looks familiar, it's because the ship was formerly known as Earth Race, twice stopping in Palau in its record-breaking attempt to circumnavigate the globe on renewable fuel. Captain Pete Bethune is no stranger to drawing worldwide attention to his cause. And I'm doing this to promote biodiesel fuel, and we've, we've done a lot of good for that cause already, and even if we don't get the record, we've st still done a lot of good for the biodiesel industry. And I don't, I don't give a toss about getting my name in the record box. Um, you know, who cares? You know, who cares you get your name in a record book? Um, but I do care about the promotion of biodiesel. In October of 2009, Captain Pete agreed to join the highly controversial Sea Shepherd Conservation Society in a support role, where it received its black stealth makeover. Sea Shepherd is also known for its high-profile celebrity sponsors, like Daryl Hannah, who talked about her involvement with the organization during an exclusive interview with OTV. So I just, the reason I'm wearing this t-shirt is because I came from the Sea Shepherd boat, which is a ship that is the only ship that is doing what I said, that it, one of the things that Palau is missing, it's just patrolling um, international waters and protected marine reserves to, to go out and protect endangered species in an established marine sanctuary to protect um, endangered whale species from being hunted by the Japanese. Because the Japanese decided that they are going to ignore this uh, this ban on a moratorium, a global moratorium on whaling, and they are going to ignore this protected marine sanctuary, and they're going to ignore the fact that these are endangered species and continue to hunt them anyway. The Japanese still maintain that they have not violated the worldwide moratorium on whaling, claiming their actions in the southern oceans are for scientific purposes. Sea Shepherd founder Paul Watson doesn't see it that way and is not deterred by the recent incident, stating, the Japanese whalers have now escalated this conflict very violently. We now have a real whale war on our hands, and we have no intention of retreating. It's hard to believe that less than two years ago, the Addy Gill, then known as the Earth Race, was here at this very dock on their historic record-breaking race around the world. Back then, Captain Pete Bethune's goal was to create awareness for biodiesel. Now, it's whaling. Whether you agree with his methods or not, it's hard not to argue with the results. One way or another, this incident has created an international spotlight on an issue that's both controversial and personal to Pacific Island communities. Whether or not this debate over whaling can be peacefully resolved remains to be seen. This is Mike Fox reporting with a special report for OTV.